Senna. Pals. We're continuing Fallout Season 1, Episode 6, The Trap, Achara's nickname. Okay, here we go. Today I'm here to show you a vast and wonderful place. Oh my god, there we are, Vault 4. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. Oh. <laughs> little winky wink. This isn't just your average all-American family. Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. Oh. Living and working right here they in Vault 4. Scary. In a community governed entirely by scientists. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. And now you can be a hero too. I'm not gonna lie. If this is advertised at me during the height of all that fear and stuff like that. You'd be like, I'm calling that number right I, now. I, I might be compelled to like, you know, maybe get a membership or something. And cut. That was a great take. You happy? I love what they Bellas, did with the, happy? like. The formatting. The formatting and everything. But even right now with the color that they're doing, it still kind of feels a little retro. Well, it's a film grain. It looks nice, I like it. Bud Askins, I uh, came over to vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint in West Tech. Very familiar with you guys. You designed the T-45 power armor. Mm. The first of its kind. Oh, getting some history here. Yeah. I wore the T-45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska wow. to the Reds. Those design flaws here has cost a lot of good oh, men shit. and women He's their got lives. Beef with yeah. Dude now. management was never my bag. I'm more focused on HR, R&D He's like, pivot quick. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hate me. We're cool. What is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? Time. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. Yeah, what's that? Time. Management. Oh, management. Okay. Manage the people in the vaults for a certain amount of time until they're ready to go out in the real world. There is a rap party. What up? A rap party for this. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> all right. For the commercial? It's at our house. Oh no! What? Oh, why would you do that? I don't want people in my home. Oh, we had a dog too. Sorry, you can't come, buddy. I'm heading into enemy territory. <laughs> Aww. So many people. He's like, I just wanted to be at home alone with you. Mr. Howard. This dude. Yeah. He's relentless. Bud Askins. It's okay, bud. We don't want to hang out with you. I think, uh, Hollywood actor friends, I want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Codsworth. That's the robot. Oh. Actors wouldn't come out of their trailers. Lenny Lewis said it was on moral grounds. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a world run by people who wear pocket protectors to a pool party. The nerds are gonna take over. So my vocal rise to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. The robot with his Guess voice? how much mm -hmm. they paid me for that. 10 million? His face, he's like, oh, I got underpaid. Oh shit. Hollywood is the past, forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is products. You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world it's is a product. It's eerie. You're not lying. Yeah, it's eerie how, how much yeah. truth there is to this. Yeah. I'd say the future is golden. To the future. Fact. To the future. Such a meta, meta moment. Yeah. I, Bath, Bath, only me Cogsworth, I'm ever ready to serve. What? Dude, I thought you knew better. This is not your day. Wait, 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 thing. Take his fusion core. There's no, no fudge yet. Oh, only a general atomic synthesis. Oh, they all run on fusion cores. He could have used one of those. Destroying a legitimate business? He didn't That's do illegal it. around these parts. Says so. The government. Oh, God. That's the government? I don't want any part of it. I didn't realize there was any semblance of order. Yeah. Your friend is gonna have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. Ew. You're not fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Oh, that's great. Can they get it working again? I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is not good. <laughs> I was born on the surface. What? Uh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know. You seem so normal. She got a whole different set of... <laughs> yeah. A whole different set of things that she was taught. My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. Oh. Damn. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here so in Bolt 4. We just need what are the you to guidelines stay for for? hours longer yeah. to make sure you don't track in any contamination. Thank you so much. You know, her look reminds me so much of um, the main actress in The Shining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love big eyes in this show. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> you smell good. Really? You want to have sex? 
Just like that? What? Yo, sign me up for the future. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that weird thing could happen. Which one are you talking about? I don't think he's had sex before. Uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. Every time. Ideally. Yeah. I'm a knight. Uh, oh, it goes against his values. I don't... What? Is it really a thing? Well, a... Okay. For them, they're quite religious, right? I mean, I don't think our regular medieval knights are going out there taking vows of chastity. Is it like being a uh, part of the black in um, Game of Thrones? What are they called oh, yeah. on the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Test subjects. I did see that in the background, actually, in the first black and white video with Cooper. Wait a second. Was the smell thing something they put? Mm. Could be. They're trying to lure them towards each other. I think these people are trying to trap us here. Yes. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're like all odd. This is a cult. <laughs> Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Takes just, one to know one. This is a safe place. Everyone is smiling. That's your indication there's a problem. <laughs> but why? Because in the vaults, we recognize that we all need each other. Just like I needed you on the surface. Oh. Something's up in the food, in the air. Yeah. Our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer oh my god, talk about eyes. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. Gazooks. Hello. Oh. And obviously, welcome. That's so strange. Stay out of level 12. We prefer you not go there. Oh. Go there and straight we away. we have one foosball table, so. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> she can't help but stare. I wouldn't be able to not stare. That's the weirdest looking Cyclops thing I've ever seen. Because the eye is regular size. Yeah. Because normally they're much bigger. Oh, she's getting suspicious as well. Yeah. What the hell? Why is there a nose on his forehead? What's the advantage of two noses? Extra tasting. That was weird. That's what I'm saying. What people are nice. Titus, I'm, I'm talking about his eye. Lots of people have one eye. In the middle of their head? Yeah, maybe they yeah. take people from the surface and do weird tests on them. Uh, yeah, I think that's the situation, Cha-Cha. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you ever think about working somewhere else? I used no. to, but with you doing these ads, it's, it's practically the family business. Everything seems so lovely. What goes wrong? I think about it. Quitting showbiz, buying us a... Uh... Oh, her body language Man, shifted a little bit. Yeah, she's not into she it. She wasn't pleased with that thought. Oh. She's What's the issue? drunk the Kool-Aid. But Askins, he licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the vault Tech emission systems. But Askins. Oh, he doesn't like Bud Askins. They're not buddies. Mm-mm. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. That's oh. me. What are the bad vaults? Oh, she knows something. Yeah. She's holding out. I'm doing what I can. No. I don't know. You're beautiful. That, just that look right there is everything, though. She's yeah. just like, this. look, look, I can't disclose all the information. I signed an NDA. I just need you to trust your wife. That is me right here, the wife. Trust me. Stop questioning me, Cope. We watch people die together up north fighting. It's all that horse shit. Yeah, and for what? What do you mean, for what? For the American dream. Oh, he's still an idealist. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. You got five acres in Tarzana. I think you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let's keep it real. Moltex the fucking <laughs> devil, man. My wife works here. You really think Barb's a devil? The company she works for is the devil. The U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to Voltec. <laughs> Voltec is a private corporation. Mm -hmm. That has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? by selling bolts. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell bolts if these peace negotiations go through. It's true. Volt Tech has the fiduciary responsibility oh, to Oh shit. Them. That it don't work out. Engineer war? Yeah. yeah. Engineer issues? That made me feel sick. Tech is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. And after 10 years of war, the US government is broker than a joke. Story never changes. Like, Come on, man, you sound like you're in a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. Yeah, we're all just living in different cults. May I speak to Barb, please? Who is it? It's Henry. He sounds so chirpy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So cheery. Sorry, Henry, but my wife prefers not to take work calls in the evenings. Oh, no, 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 I'll just be a Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, piss off. Like, no. Goodbye. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Oh, uh, that's very really like sweet. It? Their marriage is falling apart now. What? Some kind of discomfort with her. It's going to be hard on her. That's all. We can't take the what dog. Is, 
You know, no dogs in the vaults. She's committed. Yeah. He's like, they're on two different paths right now. In the vaults, says who? That's the policy. Why? Yeah, you know, dogs eat meat. It's an avoidable oh. inefficiency. Oh. oh. Survival. You can feed them some vegetables. It's all about rationing out the food. That is a relatively trivial concern. Who, who makes the rules? These are good questions to ask. I mean, what else do you have in store for us? Are the blue jumpsuits, are those mandatory? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. Mm. I didn't go to war so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askins. And while you were away at war, I stayed home. I know you did. I was checking the mail every day, imagining the worst. So you do not need to tell me how bad war is, Coop. Well, why does that mean that you don't question who's in charge? Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event. And you're talking to me about hiding out at a ranch up in Bakersfield. She's governed by fear. A two hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault, but if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love aren't among them. Oh boy. She's just trying to do what she thinks is right. I have worked hard no, I get her. to make yeah. sure we go into a special vault where we will oversee all of the other vaults. Wow. Is that vault the vault to one? control all the vaults. <laughs> yeah. One vault to rule them all. I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. So you think the divorce happened because she went underground? I think it's because they're starting to have very, very different ideals. Different ideals. Yeah. yeah. Lucy McLean. Oh, no. No. It's, it's Lucy. <laughs> How do you? Nope. It says Goosey. He doesn't have dimension. Uh, like depth perception. Perception. Yeah. You're from here. Five generations. Been proud of it. Huh. What happened? I just thought because of your eye. <laughs> because so many. Uh... <laughs> you won't find anyone more open-minded than me. But they come in here with their smelly food and their. Weird ideas. Dude, this dude. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? If you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions okay. and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. <laughs> you don't take in surface dwellers in your vault? To be honest, no. Must be nice. What is that like? <laughs> yeah. I know you'd love that. What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? <laughs> We don't talk about that. Jeez, what's the matter with you? Sorry, I... Is Bruno in level 12? Yeah. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. Goosey. Immediately go to level 12 if you can. Would death perception really mess up his ability to read letters? No, it's just played for jokes, I'm sure. There's a gun right there. It might come in handy. We still need the... We need the core. Where do you guys get your power from? Huh. Fusion cores. Let's uh, just take one. I wonder how if it it's, if its energy just kind of replenishes itself or something. Yeah, I would imagine they would have to do something that's quite efficient because you don't know how many hundred years you're going to be in a vault for, right? There we go, fusion core. I see you found our fusion core. Uh oh, he in trouble. Yeah. How are we just in light down here? <laughs> Does it matter? I'm leaving soon. No, you're not. <laughs> That's what her face says. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Uh, I think trust doesn't come easily if you've constantly been betrayed. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. When you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? He's gonna oh, be like, shit. He's never had a hot shower this before. This is amazing. <laughs> Maybe they would just have baths or something. Shit. Welcome home. Caviar? You're kidding. Oh my god. It's locked behind you. You're never leaving. Well, I think he controls it with that. Bust with the, open with that the, caviar and champagne. Uh, Let's go. But instead of spam, it's cram. Cram's been happening. Cram's a thing. I like it. We don't know what it's made out of Vachara Kirk. Dog meat. That's why there are no dogs. I'm joking. You know what? You're joking. And then someone in the comments is going to be like, actually, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, he's never heard him. Aww. He's like, clean water? There's a whole bunch of new happening here. Yeah. He's never experienced. Soap? Ew. It, oh. Ew. Does he know how to use soap? It's an acquired taste. Well, he might be into it. Um, um. There you go. Do we like it? Do we not? He's into it. Yeah. A man of fine taste. <laughs> he's going to question it. What is this from? What am I supposed to do with this? What is this? <laughs> he was just so blown away by Super it. Super expensive fish eggs, my boy. 
Is this level 12? No, I don't think so. But I think there's some com conflicting information with what she knows. Okay. Or was taught. Oh, the 200 years of history she missed out on. Yeah. So there was the big bomb that made them go into the vaults, but then there was another one. Two-headed uh, bear? Two-headed bear. Wow. That's just a forced perspective. It's really two bears, you know? It's got four legs. That's standing side by side perfectly. A Sorrel Booker. I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Mm. Sists? Ew. Say, you got a needle and thread? We don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called sewing. Yeah, exactly. I think I got some in my bag. What's he trying to sew? His glove? Oh, a finger? Her finger. Oh, they're gonna swap fingers. 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Revenge. You're still looking for her. Ah. Uh, which, which her? Yeah, which one? I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. Oof. Mind your fucking mouth. Boy. That's the president of the government you're talking to. You're gonna be in trouble. You a president now. Don't say why not. Well, then you might want to hire a publicist. Cause oh, this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. <laughs> What I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman, name of Moldavia. They call her the Flame Mother. Huh. Now that bitch is dangerous. When it comes to leadership these days, dangerous is what they call a prerequisite. Somebody's you know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. I feel like I feel like he's about to mess them all up. Oh yeah. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. If you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Might as well drive it all the way home. Yeah. <laughs> Philly. My daddy lives in Philly. Oh. Well, not no more he don't. Unless he's a coward. Oh. Don't take the bait, son. The apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. Ooh, you're gonna oh, make him really shit. mad. It's breaking him. My daddy ain't no coward. Well, then I guess the only question is. Was he smart? Are you? <laughs> take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Very presidential of you. <laughs> Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. Oh. I thought he was gonna mess everybody up. Oh, there's still oh, time. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Oh! He got oh my shot god! In the ass! Was it the butt or was it something? Oh no! I, oh, yeah, no, nope, not the butt. Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. You know her? That's not how I remember her at all. Oh. Well, how do you remember her? Is that his... Is that his wife? His kid? No, that can't be. She changed? I mean, he changed, so why couldn't she change? Sure. But Sure, one of them. This is like super weirdly yeah. spiritual. Yeah. It's very woo woo. Oh, the, the yeah, the juxtaposition. The... Yeah, the juxtaposition of the new faith and the old. Oh, she's into it. She's like, oh, this is fun. Oh, what? what? Everybody getting naked? Is this properly is a cult? Oh, an orgy? oh, is that what this is? Oh my god! Oh my god! What did you step into? Maybe that's why they were so happy to have you. Flame mother, we remember. Oh, Moldava. Mr. Howard. There she is. Oh. Okay, no blood relation at all then. No. So she's lived for a long time as well. But she still looks the same. Like Yeah, that's the question that needs to be answered. Well that that bud guy was talking about time earlier. Yeah. Like that's one of the things they've managed to like work out the kinks on or something. Oh man. Got it. Okay. Oh. 
We need a talk. Oh He's no. Drunk the Kool Aid. Yes. Yeah. Dang. Just going through everything. Check this out. These are called oysters. You want one? They make you feel so good. You want to make my cock explode now? <laughs> no, we need to leave. Right now. These people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird. <laughs> <laughs> These people are hiding something from us. I'm going to prove it to you, okay? Oh, they're not going to be there anymore. <laughs> he didn't seem fully present in that conversation. I can't tell if that's just a choice he made as an actor or if like the food has done something to him. I don't know why it would be easy to go to 12 if they're like, don't go to 12. They just tell you not to. Just like Beast told Belle, don't go to the East Wing or whatever he said. Right, but like, wouldn't it have a security code or clearance, something like that? Anyway, it doesn't matter, I guess. There might be this uh, working assumption that people are just so... Trustworthy. Easy to control that if you say don't do something, they're just not going to. Oh God, it's one of those thingies. They're the ones that are making these. Oh, it's just a la it's an experiment place. So this laboratory is the one that made that big old thing? Either but that or they took it as a specimen and they were testing on it, but I'd be more inclined to believe that they made it. <laughs> Judging from all the weird humans they have there. Oh, is she giving birth? In that chair. Oh, that, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. It's like a whole different water birth experience. Eey. How many? Yeah, oh my god. Like... So many. What is she giving birth to? The little baby versions of the big thing. That's oh my god, and her? then they're eating her? That's horrific. Well, that was disturbing. Yeah. I'm properly disturbed. Oh god, do they have one right now? Who's in there? What's in there? Oh. Is she Pregos? What the hell? Yep. Is it Ripley? Oh, it's a cryopod. What? But why are they being frozen? Oh no, oh no, did you see that? Yeah. Glad you're all right. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Oh, is she gonna, like, free them all? Like she did with the ghouls? Oh, gosh. Hello? Nope. Did your nose make you hear better? Oh, no. Oh, shit. This is going way different than I expected. I, I expected him to look around, and then she disappeared because she just hid. So you usually see in the movies. Yeah, there's still time, Jabby. Oh, gosh. You need to get less squeaky shoes. Oh, how did she know what that was? She didn't. I think it was just like a lucky guess. Whoa. Oh, she tossed his ass. Whoa. God damn. Let him out. I don't know. Okay, maybe not. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. long does this last, though? You're crazy. Oh, shit. You people are crazy. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. What, what are they, they doing there? What are they do? Oh, God. They better not, like, impregnate her with some nasty babies. Oh, my God. Can't end like this. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. They always leave you with so many questions. I love how they keep bringing back elements of the past and just feeding them to us and giving us more of the ghouls backstory yeah without like giving us everything and then showing us even more mystery with this new vault which as we predicted is pretty bad this is properly weird yeah like a lot of the advertising in the show like weird stuff that you all came to a, like the surface here it's weird and horrific like that thing with the the lady giving birth to the little like humanoid 
yeah. alox little Sec salamander. Second only to the Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, that was odd too. I mean, that's an interesting choice of how to make him look. And I guess it worked really well because it is disconcerting because it's literally like a normal sized human eye, but just in the wrong place. It's just like kind of like recessed in yeah. between his forehead and his nose. Like your brain just interprets it as wrong. I can handle the, the nose on the forehead a little bit better than the eye, to be honest. His eye was the first effect I've seen in this. I take that back. The second effect I've seen in the show so far where I was like, that I could tell its effects. Yeah. The first one was when um, Maximus was descending from the helicopter. Uh -huh. There was just something weird looking about it when he was on the oh, on the oh, Brotherhood I of the Steel notice. Guy. They did a decent job with it. It's just something I picked up on. It didn't bother me. This is something where I picked up on it and it bothered me a little bit, but I couldn't tell if I was bothered because of the effect not being more rendered or whatever, or like better, or if I was bothered because it's, it's just it's, weird. It's just disturbing. Yeah. yeah. It just leaves me with so many questions. This must have been what it felt like when people were watching Lost, because I never saw that show, but I, I imagine that week to week, people just had more questions and then they would like it's fun. commiserate yeah. <laughs> like what they don't understand. Oh, it's fun yeah. to see how deep the rabbit hole goes, right? And I wonder if... If maybe as we go along in the the show or in this season or whatever, maybe we're going to find out that the people that we thought were good are actually not as good as we thought they were. And there's a sense that not everything is as it seems. We're right to be distrustful of the vaults. And maybe it's going to turn out that Moldava might not be as bad as we thought. Or maybe she is as bad as we thought. And there is like another option like a third option well, that we can go with for some reason the ghoul does not like her and so we have yet to find out exactly what the beef is between them and then there was tension between moldava and lucy's mom or lucy's father rather yeah so there's like there's, a, there's lot of a lot of history there yeah. that they're just kind of teasing to us as we go along yeah they did an interesting job of having an arc within this episode because maximus when he first got there he was just like kind of put off by the situation. He wasn't sure what to make of it. Yeah, his instincts yeah. were like, this feels wrong. Yeah, but then it got him. He drank the Kool-Aid and he was totally in. And he was like, no, but they gave me a robe. They gave me slippers. They gave me a caviar and blah, blah, blah. It's right? very human. And then Lucy is the opposite because she came in feeling very comfortable right away. She's like, it's a vault. That's what vaults, vaults are great. And then slowly she's like seeing... The, you know, that whatever, you're peeling back the, the layers of whatever, and it's like, this is not what I grew up with. This is wrong. The chalkboard and the history of the sands and whatever, is that a legitimate outline? Is that what we take it as, as the audience? Like, that's a legitimate through I of, like, so. 200 years, whatever? I think so. Okay. I mean, it seems like the surface dwellers that they've brought down into the vaults, they are very proud of their culture in a way, like, to do that ceremony and stuff. It seems that... They want to keep a record or a memory of their history, you know? I want to know why they're doing these experiments. Like, it's one thing to enslave people under false pretenses to get something from them. Right. Like, if they're, you know, a section of people are cannibals, right? So you breed these people to be food. The theory I, I you know, pr Yeah, I'm proposed. still on that. Okay. You don't know yet for sure. Yeah. Here, they're just like straight up experimenting for what? Like... These are freak results. Why is this happening? Yeah. I am obviously still invested, but in the interest of full transparency with you guys, this was my least favorite of the episodes that we've seen so far. I think it has everything to do with Maximus. I haven't quite figured it out. I'm going to hold opinion until we finish the show. Uh -huh. But thus far, like this was the least favorite of mine. Not that I hated it. I, I liked it. If I'm ranking episodes, immediately I can see this one is not at the top for me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm still, I'm still really enjoying it. There's so much intrigue for me that I'm like, every time we finish an episode, I just want to carry on and watch the next one. And maybe that informed why Amazon was like, we'll just give it to you yeah. all at once. Because yeah. it feels like such a bingeable show. Absolutely. What I need more of in the next episode is some fucking answers. <laughs> <laughs> the best rhythm for it yeah. is to set up questions in one episode. We need at least one answer to mm -hmm. make us feel satisfied in the next episode. And then you can give us like three more questions, you know? Well, we very much know that Moldaver, is that her name? She was there at the beginning of all of this. Yeah. How so, has she managed to maintain? I want to know her beauty secrets. Well, okay. 200 years. You're, you're looking, that, yes, that. But <laughs> she is also the one who helped the raiders break into the vault. Yes. So she was part of that cult and then she'd swapped sides at some point. Unless that's kind of an evolution of 
her goal. And I was wondering as well with with the surface dwellers that were down there doing their ritual and stuff and the what was her name like the lady of the flame or or whatever. Maybe they have a secret mission to infiltrate vaults or something like that. Mm. You know, like get them from the inside. I mean, these are all good questions. So I'm understanding your opinion like you just enjoyed Maximus through and through in this episode. Oh, no, he was, I mean, he's all right. The actor is definitely playing into this kind of like dopey, gormless. Well, see, I, okay, I would imagine he doesn't have, have a heck of a, of a lot of control in this whole operation here. He's being told what he needs to do for the scenes, right? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. He's his actor doing his, his job. His job, yeah. Right, and so I'm like, okay, so I wouldn't necessarily put it on him that I have an issue with this episode. It's like just the choices being made in the, the storytelling. And sure. He's just a function of it. Sure, and, and I mean, it is kind of funny watching him just kind of be really just overwhelmed with all of the luxury that he's, you know, being offered here. In that regard, like, I can I can buy his behavior. There was the choice in the writing to have less dialogue on his part. I don't know. I, I have to let it simmer and figure it out. You know what I mean? When she came to him and said, no, you were right. There's a problem. He was like, oh, but they gave me a war... Um, a robe. A robe. And that was like the extent of his defense. Okay. It was just kind it, it, of played for laughs, maybe? Yeah, exactly. That's I think that's what it is. It's just like, it's now it's just ribbing. It's like, that's not what you set up in the last five episodes, dude. If we find out something in the food is making him behave differently, then I'm like, okay, fine, you win. Right, and because he yeah. keeps eating more of it, yeah. too. But if the food has no bearing on his behavior, it's weird because, like, wouldn't it have a bearing on her behavior as well, then? If you think about humans, right? Like, obviously, we want safety, we want security. And this whole time, he's been living in a world which is crazy, Perilous. Yeah, like people shoot at you, yeah. all of that. Yeah. And now he's in a place which feels safe. There's lots of food. That's true. So all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah. this is really nice. He's not getting bullied. He's not getting bullied. He doesn't have to be on the run. Yeah. No, so you're right. Maybe he's just like, oh, this is so nice. Like, I just want to stay here. Like, if I'd been out traveling whatever and then I wound up in a five star hotel with full board and I didn't have to pay for it I'd be like I don't think I want to leave I think that is an inclination is to ask questions like why are you being so nice to me why are you giving this to me well yeah he did and then eventually he was just like you know what this is pretty nice <laughs> yeah maybe he's doing everything right maybe the show's doing everything right and maybe at the other end of this when we finish this the season I'll be like okay it wins but as at this moment I'm just like eh, something feels off about that it's still a good episode yeah like I'm enjoying yeah. it so. Like, if this is the only episode that I saw from the show, I'd be like, well, where does it go? <laughs> and I'd have to, I'd <laughs> You'd ha have, you know. have to finish watching uh, yeah, it. I'd have, yeah, I'd have to finish, I'd have to catch up and I'd have to finish it. If this was the first thing, like if I walked into the living room and someone, I, like my mom was watching it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's compelling still. It definitely has that very J.J. Abrams kind of methodology in the storytelling. Not to give him the credit for that kind of storytelling, but it's like, it's just kind of like the lingering, you know, oh, there's more yeah. information. And so. Oh, you need to watch more K-dramas. <laughs> they do that all the time. Yeah. You guys, thanks so much for hanging. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.